Ephesians chapter 4, verses 23. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. I'm going to talk about the grace of God. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 9. For by grace you are saved. It's by grace God filled you with the Holy Ghost. It's by grace God delivered you. It's by grace that God has healed you. That you have been saved, what? Through faith. The Bible said faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So your faith in God has to be built up so you can get saved. So you can get delivered. You know, so it has to be, your faith has, and it's not from yourselves. It is a gift, of, a gift from God. Like I said, the Holy Ghost is a gift from God. You know, Acts 2.38, Peter said, Then repent, get baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You know, um, he said, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. So the gift of God is the Holy Ghost. And it's not by works, it's not by your works that you have been saved, and no one can boast, no one can brag about it. You know, so it's not by works, it's by faith you're saved. And by grace, you are saved. Because God could have wrote us off. He could have killed us. He, you know, we could have been dead in our sins and trespasses a long time ago. But God showed grace and mercy towards us. And yet, He was even patient with us. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 16. Let us then approach God's throne with grace. We can approach God's throne of grace. Sorry, His throne of grace. Because He's so gracious. we got... We can approach him now. He's approachable. You know, because one, when Jesus died on Calvary, the veil was rent in two. Now we can approach God with confidence, with the boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace and find God's favor to help us in time of need. Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you and make his face to shine on you. You know, it said, make his face to shine on us. God, you know, he, he looks at us with this glow, with this glow of approval. He makes his face to shine on us. It's like we like children. You know, we, we uh, really need the attention of our parents. You know, we, we need that attention in order to grow, in order to. So God's face shines upon us. And he, and be gracious to you. He is so gracious and merciful towards us. And he looks towards you. And gives you peace. You know, he says he looks towards us. That's, and even though there's times if we turn our back on him, he never turned his back on us. 